All right, folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm, and I want to show you something in Wireshark that uh, was in the uh, previous to 2.0 version and is now returned. So it's a neat little feature I'd like to share with you. If you didn't know about it, you may find it to be very helpful. So right now I've got uh, just some random packets on my screen, and here we go. Let's assume uh, this is me talking to the site, and uh, it's part of a problem or security issue. I want to block that IP, I want to block that port number, that sort of thing. Sometimes the um, network guy doing the wire sharking is not the guy who configures the routers or the firewalls. Uh, and sometimes it is and you just don't have a lot of experience with the configurations and may have contractors helping out in any event. So here you go, we want to block this somehow. So if we go to tools, there's this firewall ACL rules, which is kind of cool. And as soon as you click on that, it brings up a list of, looks like a bunch of gibberish, but these are the actual, uh, the syntax, if you were to use NetFilter IP tables. For the people that are more Cisco oriented, I can do a standard access list, and that'll obviously just block the IP. And if you want to be a little more specific, then you can do an extended uh, filter. So basically, Wireshark is taking whatever packet you have highlighted, and it's translating it into a filter type syntax for you. And there you go. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.